Ramps have been around since dinosaurs. So why now? Why are they making the big splash? The Food Snobs Dictionary. Ramps. Plural form of a counterintuitively named plant of the allium family, also known as the wild leek or spring onion. Slender of stem with long, canoe-shaped leaves and tender white bulbs. Ramps enjoy outsized importance to food snobs because they herald the start of the spring growing season. In some circles, the advent of the ramp takes on nearly religious overtones as a pagan version of the Easter resurrection. And the 2004 Maid of Ramps, contestant number nine. For centuries, ramps were simply something that grew in the wild and were forged from open fields. But now, thanks to food snobs and an enabling food press, they are cultivated as a delicacy and sold in markets at cocaine prices. Ramps go well with pasta, pizza, or eggs. They can be pickled, too. Oniony with some earthiness and a bit of garlic womp. But let's be honest. Much of the allure of ramps resides in that pleasurable frisson that the food snob gets simply from uttering that word, ramps. There's an entire roster of vegetables, in fact, that derive their snob cred from the frisson deliciousness of their names. Cardoon, for example, which describes a celery-like member of the thistle family but sounds like some kind of 19th century lady's undergarment. Or salsify, a parsnip-like root vegetable which looks on the page like a verb meaning to invest with elements of Cuban dance. Reigning verdantly above all these food snob turn-on words is the one uttered with merriment and abandon every April. When the season begins, and the hunt is on, ramps, ramps, ramps. Once you get going, you just ramp stop.